welcome to amazing civil engineering studies hello friends today we are going to learn about the stresses and its types as we know there are multiple type of stresses formed on the structures such as tension compression shear torsion and bending we are going to discuss all those type of stresses now first we discuss about the what is stress as we know that stress is a stress is first we will discuss about the stress stress normally first we define the stress as a force per unit area but proper definition is whenever a body is subjected to a external force it tends to deform the body to resist the deformation due to the internal resistance developed within the body and the resistance is equal to the applied force stress is denoted by the sigma and its unit is newton per millimeter square here you can say that sigma is equal to the p upon a and here p is the applied load and a is the area of the body now we will discuss about the types of stresses basically the stresses are of five types tensile stress compressive stress shear stress bending stress and torsional stress first we will discuss about the tensile stress when a body is subjected to equal opposite pull the body has a tendency to elongate as you can see in the diagram this stress induced at any cross section is termed as the tensile stress tensile stress is denoted by sigma t and it's equal to the p upon a and p is the applied load due to tensile stress there is increase in length of body and decrease in the area of cross section tensile stress is a type of normal stress and it's always act at 90 degree to the in the second type of stress is compressive stress you can see in the diagram compressive stress is the when a body is subjected to equal and opposite pushes and the tensile we pull in the compressive we push the and it has tendency to decrease the length of body that is known as the compressive stress it is denoted by sigma c and it is equal to upon p upon a due to compressive stress there is decrease in the length and increase in the cross section area and it is opposite in the tensile strength here in tensile strength there is increase in length and decrease in the cross section area also compressive stress also act act at 90 degree also same as tensile strength now we are going to discuss about the shear stress shear stress induced in the body when it is subjected to two equal and opposite forces that act tangentially to the area you can see in the diagram this here here you can see that it has showing when the there is a force applied it changes its area here that shear stress is denoted by tau it is defined as the ratio to the shear resistance to the shear area the shear stress is responsible for change in the shape of body it does not affect the volume of body it does not affect the volume of body as you can see in the diagram now we are going to discuss about the bending stress now we are going to discuss about the bending stress it is subjected to an external loading when the beam is subjected to a external loads bending moment is developed in the beam in order to counteract the bending moment internal resistance or stress will be developed this stress produced in the beam to resist the bending is called the bending stress as you can see in the diagram there is an applied load and here you can see the deflection so the stresses which are produced to resist this kind of bending is known as bending stress it is not easy to calculate the bending stress like normally we divided the, the load upon area but for calculating the bending stress uh, we have to first find the uh, force acting on the structure here first we calculate the bending moment at a point and then we calculate the bending stress the formula for bending stress is m y upon i i is the moment of inertia m is the bending moment and y is the vertical distance from the neutral axis and sigma v is the bending stress so first we have to calculate the uh, bending moment then after bending moment we will calculate the bending stress so we are going to discuss about the torsional stress torsional stress is a shear stress caused due to twisting in other word it may be described an angular deformation of a body you can see in the diagram the, this is caused due to the 
twisting here you can see in the diagram we can have another example a twisting when we twist the bolt there is a twisting force this is the torsional stress in the bolt result stress can be calculated by t tau the tau denote it is equal to r into t upon j and here tau is the torsional stress r is the radius of the cylinder t is the twisting moment and j is the polar moment of inertia thanks for watching any question please comment share like the video and subscribe the channel